here's my review of the first CM9 ROM on the HC EVA 3D that has WiMAX 4G working. Let me go to settings. Let's go to about phone. As you can see, it's running Android 4.0.4. .4. PG80 86100 is the EVO 3D CDMA Sprint version. This is not for the GSM. So it's Sign Engine Mod Unofficial Shooter. Because the HTC Shooter is EVO 3D, in case you didn't know. So let's go back. This comes with performance tweaks. You gotta proceed with caution, memory management, surface. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Um, Let's so go up here to maximum CPU. So you, you can overclock this to 1.5 gigahertz. You can change the CPU governor. I'm going to put it on performance just for this video. Um, developer options, accessibility. You should probably know the Android 4.0 usual stuff. But with CM9 you do get like profiles. So if you're at work you can have say you want like Wi-Fi off and you want like your phone on vibrate or something like that you can set all this up so like it matches where you are and then there's also application groups and also you, you can add your own that's actually a really handy f feature it's kinda like um task manager so if, if you use task manager that's kinda what that is Let's go up here. So Sign Engine Mod 9, I found out, does include their own ringtone. It's actually a pretty cool ringtone. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. I think it's pretty cool. Then you get the cyan message. kind of cool you, you can also change the rotation if you wanted to turn your phone upside down which is really handy if you're trying to show someone something alright so let's go into the main um, features of CM9 let's go to launcher this uses a Trey Boucher launcher so I mean it's just a stock ICS launcher. Let's go back into settings real quick. So under launch you can change the number of home screens. You can also change the default screen grid size. I like 5 by 4 because you can fit more on the home screen. Vertical padding, horizontal. You can have the persistent search bar at the top. If you don't want the search bar always up there you can turn that off. I find it kind of useful so you can resize any widget. Hide the labels. My favorite transition effect is tablet because I just like how it turns. You could fade side pages. Scroll the wallpaper, fade indicator, show dock, divider. Let's go into drawer. You can change it from the like the stack, which is stock ICS. I don't really mess with it because I think the stack looks pretty cool. You can fade side pages and also the widgets tab. If you keep swiping, you'll go over to widgets. If you don't want that, just uncheck the first one. And then general, you can have it to where the screen auto rotates. If you want the screen auto rotate, make sure you change the grid size to four by four on both. That way, like your, because if you have a folder on the bottom, it's not gonna show up when you rotate your screen. I kind of found that out the hard way. And then see, you can auto rotate your home screen. Let's go back. Let's go to system. You can change the notification drawer. This is like the little icons at the top. And as you can see, they do include a 4G one. Always useful. So you can show the power widget if you don't want them there. Just uncheck that. And it's pretty much stock ICS, actually. This is the closest thing to stock ICS on a ROM. Well, besides stock ICS. <laughs> um, you can hide on change, hide indicator. I don't really like the scroll bar when you have a lot of widgets up there. You can turn on haptic feedback, so you actually know when you like hit one of them. 
And here are here are just some of the toggles. I'm just gonna check all these, see see what they look like. And there's the WiMAX. You you can also change like the brightness network. So when you tap on the network, you can choose what networks it goes to. This one's really handy. I, I like to have it on like brightest. And then now when you go back up here, instead of just those, you can also like, swipe. And then you get all these. It's it's not really slow. I'm just trying to look through the camera while doing this. So, but I mean it's it's really fast and use useful too. So let's go back. And also you can change the order. So say you want flashlight to be number one. See now flashlight's number one. And then when you hit it. Okay, so maybe don't use flashlight on this room. Oops. Yeah, don't use flashlight, I guess. Alright, now you can go to status bar. You can show clock. You can have the AM, PM. See how there's none next to the 6? Now it says 6 AM. You can change how the battery looks. You can have a little percentage next to it. Or you can have it hidden so there's no battery at all. I like seeing the actual percentage of my battery. And then you can change the signal. If you wanted the text, you can have text. I don't understand the text, so I leave it as the icon. It just, because I don't understand what the text even means. Um, Sign Engine Mod does include some, I know they have on their other ROMs. So I'm not seeing any stock Sign Engine Mod wallpapers, actually. They have a few on their other ROMs. I don't know why there's not any on here, but go through a few apps I mean it's it's actually relatively fast um I believe that Joel's CM9 is faster but this has WiMAX so and actually let me show you that under settings if you go under more you see 4G settings now now you, if you turn that on wait for it to turn on Now it's, it says scanning. You should see the little 4G antenna is, is on up here at the top. I am nowhere near 4G, so it's not going to pick, pick it up, but it will scan. Should. Okay, so it's not going to scan, but it, it does work. Wait, never mind. I don't know why Wi Fi is on. Let's try that again. The icon should pop up there at the top. Um, I did actually try this earlier and it sh showed up there at the top. So I mean, it, it does work. I'm just going to hit back for now. But I mean, that's pretty much it for CM9. It comes with terminal, super user. ROM manager. It comes with like stock 2.3 music player though. I don't really care for it. The camera does not work though. So let me show you guys the boot animation. Go to reboot. Hit OK. And it's rebooting phone. Should probably clean the phone too by the way.
Oh, it wasn't in the... As you can see, the boot animation does not fit. I should probably clean the screen, too. But it does not fit, like, the screen. I'm not sure why. But there you go. That's CM9 with a working 4G YMAX on a Sprint HEC EVO 3D.